Welcome back to Brand Storytelling with Bolanli. If you're a small or medium-sized business owner looking to make a big impact, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into a game-changing topic, how SMEs can implement integrated marketing communications like big corporate organizations for profitability. Yes, you heard me right. It's about applying strategies that large corporations use, but in a way that is tailored for your business size and budget. Before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my episodes filled with practical tips and strategies to elevate your brand. My name is Bolanle Oloshunde Jenrela. I am a brand strategist for Africa's top businesses and their senior executives. So if there's someone that can teach you about IMC and how to use it effectively, I'm good for the job. Marketing isn't just for the big players. Whether you're running a retail store, a service-based business, or an online shop, having a strong, consistent brand message across all your channels is essential. Your customers are interacting with you on social media, through your website, via emails, and even in person. So how do you ensure that every interaction, every touch point, like the marketing gurus will say, tells the same compelling story? That is what integrated marketing is all about. And today I'm going to show you how to apply these strategies, just like the big corporations, no matter the size of your business. This is how you can level up your game and drive profitability and a coercive approach. Now, before we dive in, I think it's important for you to understand integrated marketing. Integrated marketing is about making sure that your brand story is clear and consistent across all platforms where your customers engage with you. So it sounds like big English, but it's very straightforward. For a small business, this might mean your Instagram posts, the way you answer your emails, the tone of your website, and even the conversations you have with customers face to face. It literally just means a synergy. Do you get a synergy in how you communicate with your customers? Imagine you run a local bakery. If your brand is all about home baked cakes or something like that with a modern twist, that theme should carry through from the photos you post on social media to the way you describe your products on your website. Even when you send out an email or a newsletter, the language and the visuals should reflect that same story. It's about building a brand that feels coercive and authentic no matter where your customers find you. And trust me, this consistency is key to profitability. Customers are more likely to buy from brands they recognize and trust. But I, what I find a lot of SMEs do is that sometimes colors are just, colors keep changing. Consistency in your brand tone and your brand identity is just very, very key. And the things you say in the, your platforms should sound like you. So when people see something you posted on social media and they stumble on a website or they see something on a billboard, they know that it is you. My next point is about building a coercive brand narrative. Building a cohesive brand narrative doesn't require a big marketing budget. It's about clarity and consistency. Let's say you run a handmade jewelry business. Your story could be about celebrating African craftsmanship and empowering local artisans. That story should be the thread that runs through every piece of content that you create, from the product description on your website to your Instagram captions and even the way you package your jewelry. There's this lemonade drink that I stumbled on many years ago. They have like a letter at the back of the bottle of that lemonade drink that just says the story of how they pick the lemons or something like that. I found that really interesting and it just made them more endearing. So to my example about the jewelry maker, if your packaging includes a little note about the artisan who made the piece, that personal touch reinforces your brand story. This approach not only builds brand loyalty, but also makes your business stand out in a crowded marketplace. And here's the kicker. Customers are always willing to pay a premium for a brand that resonates with their values. This is how big corporations win and you too must do the same. Third point, align marketing channels on a budget. You might be thinking, oh, all this integrated marketing thing sounds great, but I don't have a big team or big budget to make it happen. Here's the good news. Integrated marketing doesn't have to be expensive. Start small by ensuring that your messaging is consistent across all the channels that you're already using. For instance, if you're promoting a sale, make sure your social media, websites, and even your in-store signage all have the same look and feel. You can use free or low-cost tools like Canva to create coercive visuals. Consistency doesn't always cost a lot. It just takes a little extra effort. And remember, every consistent message reinforces your brand in the minds of your customers, leading to better recognitions and ultimately 
more sales. So don't be worried about, ha, ah, they will just keep seeing you. Let them keep seeing you. But let them see you the same way across all your channels. If this episode of Brand Storytelling with Bolani resonates with you deeply, now is the best time to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bells so you don't miss any future episodes. Welcome back. Now to point four, personalize the customer experience. Personalization is a game changer, especially for small businesses. Your customers want to feel valued and understood. And the good news is that as a small business, you have the advantage of knowing your customers on a more personal level. Let's say you own a boutique. You can use your customer data like their purchase history or even simple observation to personalize your marketing. Maybe you notice a particular customer loves a certain style. You could send them an email when new items in that style arrive. Or if you run a local cafe, you could remember your regular's favorite orders and offer them discounts on something new you think they would like. These small touches create a big impact and keep your customers coming back. Big corporations use data analytics to do this at scale, but you can achieve the same effect on a personal level, which often feels even more genuine to your customers. It makes them love you. And this is something that big organizations cannot compete with if you do it well because you have one-on-one -on -one touch points with your customers. Point five, measuring success with simple tools. Measuring the success of your marketing campaign doesn't always require expensive software. Start with the basics. Use Instagram insights to see which posts are performing well. Check your website's Google Analytics to understand where your traffic is coming from. Like you will just realize that, oh, it's like many people are ordering you from Ghana or from London. Or in that case, you must now begin to speak to people from that region. Simply keeping track of which mails get most opened and clicks would also help you know how to craft your messages in the future. For example, if you notice that for your social media post about behind the scene activities at your shop gets the most engagement, that's a sign that your audience loves seeing the personal side of your business. Use that insight to shape your content going forward. Don't just be posting things because that's what other people are doing too. No, keep checking to see what actually works for you. Remember, the goal is to keep refining your strategy based on what is working. This constant improvement is how big brands stay ahead and you can too, even on a smaller scale. An integrated marketing strategy isn't just for the big brands. It's for anyone who wants to build a strong, coercive brand that resonates with customers. Whether you are a one-person operation or you have a small team, you can create a unified brand message that helps you connect with your audience on a deeper level. And by doing so, you are setting your business up for sustained profitability. Try these methods. Trust me, they work. Integrate your marketing efforts in a way that is tangible so that your customers will feel like they know you, they like you, and they see you, and they can trust you. That's about it really. But if you have other ideas, please kindly put it in the comments. Let's chat about it. Let's discuss. I want to know other points that you also have on how small businesses can borrow ideas from big businesses to grow their business. If you found these tips helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Brand Storytelling with Bolanli. Let's keep the conversation going. Drop that comment, please. I want to see it. <laughs> Remember, every small step you take brings your brand closer to success. See you in the next video. And don't forget, subscribe, subscribe.